Coach is here who's kind of trying to defer a little bit, given that his role here was a little unique. Yeah, I, I would think so. I don't think he tried to step on anybody's toes or try to, you know, input what he done in the past uh, on what Shane does or, you know, the whole thing. But like I said, I think he was just a great addition as far as just for me personally, uh, just having somebody to kind of talk to on the sideline. He would just give me some tips or – and a lot of it was just on leadership, honestly. It would be times where – Maybe the defense might have been struggling. He might just come to me on the side like, hey, maybe you got to get the go get the guys going, pull them up on the side. Just little things that I learned from him. Uh, so it's going to be good to see him on Sunday. Joku's got the most first down yardage for tight end in the league. You know, it's a small sample size and everything. Yeah. But what kind of problems does he pose? Yeah, he's a really good catch and run guy. Um, I, I will put him up there, you know, as one of the best tight ends in the NFL. A really strong runner. I would – I don't want to compare you know, the two, but the guy that we played last week, Jared Everett, he was a really good catch and run guy. You see, he made a catch and broke a few tackles. I think it's the same thing that Njoku kind of brings to the table. They're going to do some different gadget stuff with him, some screens and stuff like that. So we're really going to have to make sure that when he does get the ball, we're going to have to rally and tackle that guy. How similar or dissimilar is Deshaun now to the guy you played six times in Houston? Well, he's running a different offense. I think, you know, when he was in Houston, it was a lot of empty formations, a lot of spread out things. But I think he's still the same type of quarterback, personally. I know the stats doesn't show it right now. Obviously, he missed a whole year of football, and I think he played just six games last week. So I think he's t really still trying to, you know, get it going to the level that he was before. But he's still an elite quarterback, in my opinion. Um, we're going to have to really mix up and disguise our coverages because if, he, if we just line up and play just defense, he's going to pick us apart. Um, so I just think that we got to force him to make some mistakes and, and try to get some turnovers. Love to run the football. Mm -hmm. This team loves to stop the football. Yeah. From being run. Is this kind of a mono a mono test on Sunday when you go on the field? Uh, I think so for sure. They're obviously the best rushing team uh, right now in the NFL, and they've been in the top you know, in the last couple of years. Um, and we're really good at stopping the run as well. So um, I think it's going to be a good challenge, you know, on both sides. They have, I think, a really good offensive line that they've built to stop the run, and um, you know, it's, it's going to be a good test. I'm not sure there's been a game since Vrabel has been here that stopping the run hasn't been one of the first couple keys yeah, that he throws out there every week. When you're able to do it the way you did in week one and week two, how important that can be to your job? Uh, it's good because it slows down, like, it limits the options, you know, because when you have a team that can pretty much do whatever they want, they can run, they can pass, it just opens up so much. So I think um, when you're able to stop one side where it's like, okay, they can't run the ball on this. Now you can kind of limit how they're going to attack you. So um, it's, it's been huge. And even when I was in San Francisco, that was always one of the keys, you know, stopping the run. I think any good defense, the first things that you think about is stopping the run because it can set up so much more if you stop them for a loss of gain or like if you get them to third and long or second and long, it completely changes, you know, off as a coordinator's uh, play sheet as opposed to you give them, a, you know, a second and four, or, you know, third and short. So. The Chubb injury was awful, but they still ran the ball. What makes them effective regardless of personnel? I think uh, reg regardless from that running back personnel, specifically Chubb obviously is you know elite runner, uh, but just that offensive line. I mean, you see they're built to stop to uh, run the football, and you know the guards, 77, uh, is really, really, well, really, really good. Mauler, you know, going to be aggressive. Got a little chippy, so you got to, you know, be ready for all those type of things, but <laughs> – Overall, just solid. The whole offensive line is really solid. Make sure my body's prepared and make sure I'm um, staying the course on that, too. You learned a few things from uh, going against Miles Garrett in some practices? Oh, yeah, man. I've, I've practiced against him every day, you know, so um, I know I know what to expect. Um, I'm going to let my guys know, you know, my, my teammates know, my O-line guys know what to expect and what I've learned from him and watch him every single day in practice. So uh, it's going to be pretty fun. How's he different than the guys you've seen so far? Uh, he's explosive, man. He's quick off the ball, fast, uh, very smart, and um, he's strong too. So, uh, so he's agile. He has a lot of different uh, intangibles that that goes with him, and that he plays at a high level. How often were you able to get the best of him in practice? Uh, sometimes, you know what I mean. Uh, sometimes it, it, it's, it's back and forth, you know, and that's the game how games goes. And um, with him, he's he's gonna pick and choose when he's uh, gonna take off and and do his uh his uh. uh his uh, things as, as a player. So, um, man, you know, my thing is just to continue to get better, man, um, and play at a high level. This game is, 
played in between the lines, and I want to make sure that I'm doing everything possible to protect our quarterback. And that's one of the main things that I want to continue to do is just keep him upright so he can get the ball out to our, our players, man. And once he's able to do that, you see what can happen last past Sunday. So um, I just want to continue to get better each week with pass blocking, run blocking, whatever it is, whatever the coaches need of me. man. I just want to continue to, to execute and get better at that.